Hey everybody, welcome to Jason Explains Things. I've got a fun shop video for you today. We're gonna to be turning this run-of-the-mill Harbor Freight floor jack into an off-road truck lifting beast with this uh, cool kit here in this box that I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. So before we get into what's in the box, let's just talk about this jack that I have here. So this is a Pittsburgh Automotive one and a half ton aluminum floor jack from Harbor Freight. These run about $80 to $100, depending on the time of year that you buy it or if you have any coupons. Uh, one thing I really like about it that I've enjoyed uh, using it for the past three or four years is that it only weighs about 33 pounds, which is awesome. One thing that is an annoyance about it though is that it has a max, um, max height of lifting a vehicle of only 14, yeah, 13.78 inches, so just under 14 inches. So using this on a car, you know, not so bad, uh, but using this on a truck is pretty limiting. You can't, sometimes you can't even get the wheel off the ground if you're trying to raise a vehicle off the frame as you should. So this is great, um, but frankly for me, it has a lot of limitations and that's where this stuff comes in. In the box, we have an off-road jack conversion kit made specifically for these very popular Pittsburgh jacks. Um, they have different versions of this kit as well, from the one and a half ton to the two ton, three ton. So whatever floor jack you have from Harbor Freight, there is likely a kit for it if it's one of these aluminum ones. The company I got this from is 911 Motorsports out of Bend, Oregon. I think it's an owner operator small business by a guy named Casey. I paid full price for this. This video is not sponsored. Uh, although after I ordered it, I think he found my YouTube channel. He's like, ah, cool, thanks. And he sent me a, a can cozy. So thanks. Thanks for the can cozy, Casey. I'm excited to make this video today with your stuff. This kit starts at $200. Um, I ended up paying $275 because I added a couple things. I added the six inch larger wheels, uh, zinc plated extension arms, um, a vehicle mount and an optional skid plate. Um, so this is gonna turn this jack into something completely different, which I'm really excited about. Um, a couple benefits of this also is that it's going to extend not only the ability to roll around on uneven terrain, of course, but also it's gonna extend that lift by over a foot. What we're gonna do now, let's unbox this kit, uh, look at all the different parts, then we'll clean this guy up, take it apart, and then stay tuned to the very end of the video because we're gonna take the jack in its awesome new form out to the hills outside of town and see how good I do at changing a tire in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Ooh, screwdriver. Instructions. But these are our two axles. Actually, uh, 911 Motorsports forgot to send me this little bag of hardware along with these brackets for, uh, for the, I think the front axle, but they mailed it out within one business day. So good on them. And they also sent an updated page of instructions. So I'm actually really happy that that happened. That way I have their most up-to-date instructions for me to do this video for you guys. Okay, now let's get working on the jack. Next thing we're gonna do is install the optional skid plate. That's gonna go on there just like that. As you can see here, we got some spots to put in some rivets. Uh, there are no holes there now, so let's drill those out. Okay, so my holes kind of line up, but they also kind of don't. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit off script. If the front axle is there holding all this together, then I feel like I won't screw up. There we go. 
Well, heck, I was really excited about keeping this handle on the side, which they say to remove in the instructions, and I'm like, I don't want to remove that handle. I used that when I picked this up. And then I'm like, oh, it's because the wheel won't fit with it there. Well, let's remove this. Installing the wheel couldn't be easier. You got this little sleeve right there, then your wheel, then a sm your small washer. There's these larger washers if to use if you don't have the skid plate. We have the skid plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue thread locker on there. Nice. Whoa, hold on you guys. Do I have a Carolina Squat floor jack now? Beep, 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 beep. Carolina Squat! No! No! <laughs> okay, moving right along. We've got the original wheels off. We have to remove one more bolt, one more factory bolt, and that's this bottom one right here. We're gonna reuse these bolts as well, by the way. Um, they just give us some nuts, so you'll see that in a second, but this is a six millimeter right there. Putting the back axle together is super easy. You just wanna take your bracket and slide it on like that, and then take the other bracket, match it up. That's so awesome. All right, so now we just use our factory uh, bolts. I'm gonna do the big ones up front first. Okay, back wheels couldn't be easier. You've got two spacers. Go right there. Your wheels. You've got some snap rings. Last thing we gotta do is we gotta take off uh, this original uh, lift point here and we're gonna install this guy. <laughs> All right, we take our new guy, slide it right there, slide our metal piece back in and through that, back out right there. Then we just need to reinstall that snap ring. Okay, I absolutely just dig this. I mean, it's silly. I mean, it's just, it puts a smile on my face that I've made it, made, turned my little jack into an off-road jack. I'm just, I'm just pumped. Okay, so our max lift height used to be 14, almost 15 inches. Now with this slightly different lifting point we got on here, it's, uh, okay, it's gone up to about 18, which is awesome. With extension arm number one, we have now 22 and a half. With this, we are all the way up to 28 inches. So about double. And let's just be dumb for a second. Don't, don't do that, probably. That's, uh, that's almost uh, 32 and a half inches. So yeah, just don't do that, but it's fun. <laughs> this is great, but this is no way to end this video. We need to go actually do some off-road testing, right? So let's jump cut to me and my family and the Forerunner, and we're gonna see if we can change a tire out in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, we're off-roading with the family and we have a flat tire. Wow, look at these cool wheels. So yeah, this is a pretty good example. We'll pretend that our front passenger tire is flat and uh, we'll lift off the frame. Definitely very uneven. If you were doing this with a regular jack, that would be pretty difficult. Oh, we're gonna need one of the extension arms. How convenient for my, <laughs> for our demo. I think this would be good enough. Oh yeah. Ho ho, I think we got it. Well, there you go, everybody. Now again, you'd definitely want a jack stand if you were doing this in real life to take the tire off to, to be perfectly safe, but in an emergency, I think that'd work. 
Well, everybody, uh, is it wide? We, we're good? Do I look cool? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will link to uh, 911 Motorsports um, website and kit for this. Again, this video was not sponsored. Kids are screaming. That's good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, check them out, small company out of Oregon, and uh, I'm very happy with this. It definitely transformed the jack into something completely more awesome. So until next time, everyone, God bless. And don't forget to do it yourself. Bye. You have to turn the camera on first. <laughs>